remember last show all all of three or four days ago Mm -hmm. when we were praising the senators for you know what even though they had this ubergate break it wasn't really their fault they knew about it beforehand and they got out ahead of it and handled it really well ah the past you know what they Mm. deserved at the time they deserved one of these whoa yeah they did right yeah they sure did it was their sort of silly season well, and then they followed it up with a 7-3 win over the Devils. The poor Definitely, Devils. Right? Reason to celebrate. Yes, absolutely. Uh, well, that's done now. Uh, this is a screenshot from David well, Alter. it's not done. No, it's not done, <laughs> but yet another thing has happened. Sure. Go ahead. So this is a screenshot from David Alter of a Michael Trakos column from the Toronto Sun. Also on the Senators' growing no-fly list. So this was a story that broke while we were getting ready for the tournament. Um, apparently the Ottawa Citizen had a journalist, I forget the name of the journalist, uh, barred from a team flight, or the the team flight. So they flew on the team charter. Uh, a lot of teams do this with reporters um, because they obviously want coverage, right? So they were barred from the team flight. So that's where this comes from. It says, uh, Ottawa said, this is from Gregory Strong, this is what you sent before. It said, Ottawa Citizen says hockey writer Ken Warren was denied access to Senator's team charter today. Today meaning Friday. Uh, yeah. Development comes two days after newspaper declines to take down a secret recorded video in Uber, in an Uber vehicle. There you go. Yeah. So from the Toronto Sun, Michael Trakos. Also on the Senator's growing no-fly list is TSN reporter Brent Wallace, oh, wow. who prior, prior to the team's Parliament Hill game last December had the audacity to ask owner Eugene Melnick about a report that suggested he had been withholding bonus money from his employees. Melnick denied the allegation. Once the cameras were turned off, bystanders saw him turn to Wallace and say, I'm going to bury you. Which is super ominous and believable. And the, and the thing is, Eugene Melnick knows that if if they're not jumping on that plane, that, that costs the media company he works for, which is Bell, a lot of money to fly him to all those games, yeah. which lessens his chances of going because... Um, media in this country is struggling enormously yeah, right Bell, now. Bell, who, by the way, I believe gives the senators thirty-five million dollars uh, for uh, local uh, for the for the regional right to broadcast Sens games. Whoa, their amount. Of, yeah, so I got to imagine there's going to be an extraordinarily interesting phone call between someone very high up from Bell and someone very high up from Eugene Melnick. So, <laughs> <laughs> was he just added to the list? Well, that this would is be the a little confusing off. We don't thing. know yet. Yeah. That would have been a year ago, yeah. almost. Um, so that is confusing. Because the other one makes sense. If it was just two days ago, now he's banned. But... The thing is, Eugene's not big enough to bury somebody who works for Bell. <laughs> Bell is just so much bigger, like as a company. The senators need Bell's uh, money. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Uh, so that's extraordinarily interesting to me. And then it got even juicier when Travis Yost... Uh, tweeted interesting Twitter feed and it was someone someone named Aubrey Childress and she was defending the senators uh, barring this person and uh, from the Ottawa citizen and I didn't understand it so it's yeah it starts from the Gregory Strong tweet and then someone responded to that with NHL needs to step in here this organization is a mess Aubrey Childress Childress responded Childress, Childress. Childress sorry like Re- basketball player yeah. oh there you go Childress uh, responded with Hope he had a long walk home. What did he think was going to happen? Only reason the video was published by at Ottawa Citizen at OttawaSun.com was to hurt and embarrass the Sens and the ownership. And that's got 31 likes or whatever. Then someone named Vor Abaddon uh, responded, uh, well, the ownership is kind of already embarrassing the Sens and Ottawa. So I get being annoyed, but it was news. News gets reported. Live with what happened. Once it hit YouTube, there was no going back. And then he said, wait, your account was just created. You've done nothing but defend Melnick. Oh, I see. Hey, Senators, as a Philly native, the whole burner account thing uh, now is as obvious as it is Bush League. You're just making it worse on yourselves. Shut it down. And I went, wait a minute. Click on Aubrey Childress's profile. They started tweeting two days ago. And... All they've tweeted, so they sent one weird tweet that was done wrong. The So right away, I'm like, okay, someone who's old and doesn't really understand Twitter did this. Um, 
the second tweet is let's get this party started and uh the party i guess is tweeting non-stop about the story well, so and wait wait there's one more their picture this lovely picture uh their profile picture stock photo uh, oh. found on like a lipstick site that was tweeted and easily found by who was the Twitter handle Connor Mocket. So he, he, what's interesting about this is Pierre Dorian, if I'm not mistaken, as an yes, off, Adam. off comment said when they, they, when the, when the Brian Colangelo stuff blew up, didn't he mention something about burner accounts? No, it was no, it wasn't that it was the, someone within the Senator's organization was accused of, having a burner account defending senators moves for a very long time and they weren't able to figure out who it was they were never able to figure out it was actually someone who worked for the senators they made it seem like well actually i think it's just a big fan but the accusation was it could have even been pierre dorian himself so this isn't the first time they've been accused of it and then there was that stuff with yost dating way back way back where some hackers from ukraine who probably are affiliated with no one, right? Probably no one. Uh, Cuz you know his... the Ukrainians love hacking Ottawa bloggers. Yeah, they love hacking Ottawa Senators bloggers who write articles on hockey buzz about Eugene Melnick's money problems. I'm no conspiracy theorist. Yeah, well I am, Jesse. <laughs> so, are we sure this just isn't a fan trolling? I mean, it could be if you're if you're squarely in the pocket of like there are people that support political candidates and owners that I don't mm. get like people who are like, do you ever see someone who's like, I'm a Jerry Jones fan? Yeah. And they go out and they defend this person. That's they right. weirdly defend this person nonstop all and, the time. And, and yeah, you yeah. do run into people that are like that. Mm -hmm. I can't see because Jerry Jones stands for something. Eugene Melnick doesn't seem to stand for anything. He just seems to be all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, but it could be a person who doesn't even like Eugene, but just wants to troll Ottawa fans and troll and these people in the media. The yeah, maybe. You know? Because there's yeah. Yeah, we, lots we, we of people could, like that. You can never make the connection to the organization. You never know. Right? Yeah. But, yeah, it could just be some some Toronto idiot being like, yeah, hey, a hey. Toronto fan would make so <laughs> much sense. You know, who, you know what would be fun? There's some subreddit <laughs> like, right now going, watch this.